So somebody said there's a short-term memory issue in the last IEP. And the thing that, that gets me about this is they tell you what's wrong, but they don't tell you what to do about it. And that um, test kit that I was telling you about, that's going to let you know exactly where they are on the scale of, you know, can they do three, four, five, six, or seven where they're supposed to be. Typically, if there's a short-term memory uh, problem, they're around four to five. <clears throat> and it takes about three months, three to four months, typically, to go up half to one. Um, and, but you keep after it and things really change for that child. And it's, it's amazing to see uh, a 12 year old that never could remember to take out the trash. Now, all of a sudden is, can do it because <laughs> he's got the short term memory to remember that and sees the mm -hmm. big picture and all of that. So that's the good, good news. And somebody, I, I love this. Some, some people come up to me after seminars at um, where I've been speaking or something. And they say, so when did you put the camera in my living room? Because I just <laughs> described your child to a T. You're in my house. So that just I, happened today. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's funny. But it's, and, and one thing, I want to encourage you is that you're not alone. That's, that's the thing. This is happening uh, all over, but you're the ones that are chosen to have the information to make a change. Okay. So uh, somebody said, is there a um, testing that can be done to determine if my child indeed has auditory processing issues? Um, well, I would start with that free test kit because that's a, that's a good indicator. And we also have um, what's called a screening, which is a very um, low level of, of um, neurodevelopment, but has some key things that we can pick out and know how to help um, right away. We can do screenings and Denton or like Vanessa, experience. We did those virtually uh, for her. So if you're out of the um, DFW area, no, <clears throat> I also go to Houston and Austin. So uh, I don't know from where everybody is, uh, but that's one thing that you can do. And then, um, but if you know your child has a pro, um, you know, a real issue that you need to deal with, uh, the interesting thing is sometimes you're kind of focused on one thing as the issue. And then when you have a little bit more comprehensive evaluation done, you go, you find more root causes of that because they, they kind of inter interplay like your auditory processing is going to affect your reading comprehension and that kind of thing. So, um, through a consult, we can get you information about programs that you can do at home for to make to make a change. Oh, I'm so glad this comment said it explains so much. That's what ha happened to me when I first heard this. I thought that makes sense. <laughs> this affects that, and if you don't deal with that, you're not going to get this resolved. Mm -hmm. 